bookish peeps. Welcome back all. Welcome if you're new. My name's Kate. This is my library. And in today's video, I have a bit of a book haul. Now, this book haul, I have been saving up since September. Um, I wanted to save all the new books I got. I haven't unboxed any except for the two that I bought in store. Um, and I'm excited to share them with you today. Before we begin, I suggest you get a beverage um, because this might be a little bit long. Sorry, not sorry. I bought this cup originally, like in a cute, because I was like, oh, that's going to be so cute to drink out of and like so thirsty. It's so hard to drink out of. Like the lip at the back is so weird that you kind of just got to slurp it. I kind of need a straw. Not that the dogs care, but you know. The ears get in the way of my glasses. I'm going to put Mickey down. Now. Before we go through this, um, some of these I have bought, some of them have been gifted, and some have been sent by publishers. So they're a bit of a everything. Um, I will try and remember what stores I got them from. I can't remember the prices. I am sorry. Um, but we'll go through each book what I think, why I've bought it, or first impressions if they're from someone else. There is going to be no order of these books, it's just going to be from top to bottom, so I hope you enjoy. Please remember to like and subscribe. My channel is coming along and I'm really excited for future projects that I have in the works. One of them I've been working on the last couple of nights that is going to be released next year, so fingers crossed for that one, but let's begin. The first book I got was in a recent purchase from the Bookface, which is an independently owned book company or bookstore um, here in Canberra. I'm not sure if they're in other places. I've only ever seen them in Canberra, so though I'm from originally from a little country town, so who knows. But the first book is Agatha Christie, The Mysterious Affair of Styles. I just love it. It's just so cute. I love Agatha Christie novels. I also love Agatha Christie shows and Hercule Poirot and that kind of thing. So, so this is a Hercule Poirot one. I don't know much about this one in terms of the storyline and what's actually in this story, but the cover sold me, honestly. You're going to find a lot of the times this cover sold me. I also have another one of these. I think it's blue. Somewhere. Somewhere. In my classics sections. Oh, it's over there. It's Midnight Summer one. But yes, this one cost me... Because the sticker was still on the back, so I can tell you. $34.99, including GST. Anyway, I thought it was cute. Had to buy it definitely going to read it. I love murder mysteries. I would like to do like a whole video of it. Probably not like how to train you Gavin in terms of like sorting out the mystery, but I'd like to do like read the book, then watch the film. So that's the first one. I'm going to start a nice little stack here. The next one is book two of the Glacian trilogy. This was from Dimmix. It's got the sticker on the back still, which was $32.99. Uh, a bit expensive for a paperback considering that one cost $34.99, but it's fine. I know I could have bought this elsewhere, but I was in Dimmix. I had some discount, so I bought it. Yes. So this is book two. If you haven't read book one, it's called Ledge. I highly suggest you do. Uh, the suspense and humor and the girl power within it is just amazing. Stacy is an amazing writer. She also is Australian as well, so got to support the Australians. This is book two, so it ended on a cliffhanger, unfortunately, and I can't wait to get into this. Hopefully it will be soon, probably November. So that's my thoughts. Let's start with the first box, which is from Amazon. I believe this was one of my orders, probably. Oh, that's a nice pull. Oh, Oh, hello. Was it me? Hmm, from someone. Doesn't say a name. Please let me know in the comments down below if you sent me a book. 
I would really appreciate it because it came with no name. Unless it was my partner. I have no idea. So I'm just going to unwrap it so we can see. So the first book is the London Seance Society by Sarah Penner. Oh my god, this is gorgeous. Look at this book. Oh, that is so gorgeous. Oh, I've been wanting to read this as well. From the author of the sensational best-selling uh, The Lost Apothecary comes a spellbinding gothic whodunit, introducing two enigmatic egma women who set out to solve a most unusual mystery. May mercy be upon the men who finds himself the enemy of vengeful mediums. I'm so excited! It's just gorgeous! It is a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. How many pages is this? Oh, it's got some food in the back. That's some more author's notes. 274 pages. That's pretty short, actually. I could probably read this in an afternoon. But I really wanted to read this, especially in this spooky season. I love the idea of seances and the idea of a seance society. It kind of, like, reminds me of the Wisteria Ladies and the one by India Holt. Uh, Holton or Holt? I'm not 100% sure. She does the League of Gentlewomen Witches. Oh, yes! Thank you for whoever sent this. I really appreciate it. I can't wait to read this. I think I'm going to have to pick it up. As soon as I have to finish my currently reading note, I have to finish it and then I'll pick up this. Thank you. Okay. Next one I did open because I was like, what is this? This is actually from HarperCollins. So thank you HarperCollins for sending me this. Um, this is one of their new novels. Oh, Maria Rothfoot, and it's A Multitude of Dreams, the author of The Poison Season. Oh, that's so cool. And it came with this nice ribbon. Oh, very nice. When does it come out? Does it say? Normally it says. So this is a Harley Quinn young adult novel that is coming out soon, I believe. I'm not sure when this is coming out. I will find out and leave it on the screen down the bottom. But thank you, HarperCollins, for sending this through. I'm excited to read this book and write up a review, but it's so gorgeous. Look at that cover. That's giving me all the spooky vibes. Let's have a look on the back. The bloody plague is finally past, but what fresh horror lies in its wake? Okay. I love the look of this cover. So you've got like the twisted vines, you've got like a clock in the background, and like you can see like the crow's feet are like cutting into her arm. Hmm. Interesting. I might have to read this one soon too. Well, I'll read it and give a review, obviously. But thank you, HarperCollins, for sending this through. Yes. Okay, next one is another package from somewhere. I don't know where. Is that Amazon? No idea. Let's find out. It is Amazon. It is Assistant to the Villain. And I got the one with the um, red sprayed edges. I know people in America could get it very easily, but people in Australia could not get the red one unless you ordered um, from America. And I had to wait ages for this to arrive. It was meant to be here ages ago, but, you know, that happens. Only the Good Die, Assistant to the Villain, by Hannah Nicole. I can't pronounce her last name. I am sorry, Hannah Nicole. It is just cute. And it's actually like raised as well, so you can actually feel it. So assistant wanted. Notorious high-ranking villain seeks loyal, level-headed assistant for unspecified office duties. Supporting staff for random mayhem and terror and other dark things in general. Uh, discretion a must. Excellent benefits. So it's hilarious. Um, I've had so many great things about this. So I've heard that this is a funny romance where she essentially starts drooling over the boss who is the villain and they get into mayhem and it's kind of like a romantic dark comedy. I don't know what you want to call it. I'm excited to read this one. I think it's going to be hilarious, especially these red sprayed edges. Like, 
Yo yos. This cost me a ridiculous amount of money and you don't want to know. Essentially. I will try and link where, well, most of these books that I bought down below. If not, I will link other information as well for you. But I'm excited to read this. Have you read this? Let me know in the comments down below. And if I need to bump it up on my tibia. Next we have is another package from Amazon. I ordered a lot of books from Amazon. No judgment. And if you judge, shame on you. Oh, I did, forgot I ordered this, or did someone else get it for me? It is another one that I did not order. Oh, that's cute. Thank you. Whoever sent this through, thank you very much. Um, also, it doesn't have a name. So I'm suspicious if you ordered both of them and they didn't turn up. This is from Amazon UK, so... Whoever's in the UK, thank you very much. But it is Agatha Christie's Holo um, Die Halloween Party uh, with Hercule Poirot. Oh, this is so cool. I'm very excited for this one. But it is so cute, right? I have the book now. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Woo! Hopefully you didn't see my dress. Okay, next one. Also from Amazon. What a surprise. Okay, let's have a look. Ooh, I did order this one. So this is The Modern Girl's Guide to Magic by Lindsay Hall. Um, this is beautiful. I believe it's an independently published one. Let me just checky. Checky make check. Yes, it is. Because it's so, like, it's got that independent publish smoothness. I don't know how to explain it. Like, um, traditionally published books have like, um, like this soft, like, I don't know, softness with this is like a tactile velvet touch. Um, so I've heard so many people talk about this and I knew I had to get it. So it says on the back, here's the deal. I'm a magical disaster, a witch from a family of witches and the only one whose magic blows up in her face. Which is why I came up with my rules. One, never get involved with magic. Two, if you must, make sure it's not in a competition to win the biggest magical fortune in London, England. Three, and definitely don't fall for Kanan Hawthorne, the sexy billionaire mage who you've hated for years. So how the heck did I end up in a situation that promises to break all these rules? I was the on It was the only way to save... Seaside Spells, my family's magical potion shop. But it's cool. When I get back home to Charming Cove, a village of ancient pubs and foul-mouthed familiars, I will totally ignore which weekly sexiest man of the year. I'll win the competition, and if I'm lucky, I won't turn myself into a toad in the process. <laughs> oh, I love books like this. I love it. It's so cute. Look at the cover. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh. I'm really excited to read this. I think it's going to be a funny ass. And I've heard so many people talk about it. And I love witchy books like this, to be honest. I love the comedy. I love, like, the romance that comes with it. Yes! Okay, the next is a bigger box. And I don't know where you're from. I think it's Booktopia. Ready? So this one's a big guy. I did order some books from Booktopia as well. They had a sale. Yes! Okay, so there's a couple of books. I'll just get them out. I'll get them out. You should see the pile on the ground. Yeet! Yep, okay. First things first. Um, the first thing is not a reading book. It's a coloring book. It's actually going to be for a future video that you're probably going to see down the line in the month of October. So keep your eyes peeled. But it is the Hocus Pocus adult coloring in book. I know. I know. I am such a dweeb. And I love Hocus Pocus so much. I smell children. I'm so excited. Um, this is just divine. I really, really love Hocus Pocus. I love all the witchiness that comes with it. And I can't wait to do some coloring in. I know. I So, the reason why. I like doing things with my...
listen to my audiobook and colour in this beauty. I've previously done Lego and I've done like my book nook and like all that kind of stuff. So this is the next thing. Let me know in the comments down below what hobbies you do while listening to audiobooks or if you're a bit like me and feel a bit weird about just sitting there and listening. It's a little bit weird. Anyway, next book I got is the witch haven by sasha payton smith um i've heard so many things about this and i've received some stuff in book boxes that have to do with this book but i've never actually read it or know much about it i kind of just clicked it and just like hmm, i need this it says on the back hexahaven academy rules for young witches one mind your instructions Two, none unsupervised spell work. Three, don't leave after dark. That's ominous. Radio. Um, well-behaved witches seldom make history. In 1911, um, New York City, 17-year-old Frances Hallowell spends her days as a seamstress mourning the mysterious death of her brother months prior. Ooh, is there anything under the dust Oh, <gasps> there is! Look at that! I didn't even realise. Oh, that's cool. I think this is going to be cute. It kind of gives me um, pre, especially the Halliwell. The Halliwell name just is like Charmed. Anyway, it makes me think of Charmed. Um, I don't know if it actually is anything to do with Charmed. Oh, hello, bookmark. Um, but I'm interested to read this one. I'm probably going to listen to the audiobook <laughs> while reading and see what I think. I should do a video for it too. Anyway, continuing the witchy spooky path, we've got what you're gonna do. Um, honestly, this was a cover by. She's charmed, he's sure. Like, look at it. That is just the coziest vibes ever. It says on the back. An unlucky witch and her know-it-all nemesis must team up in the first of a new spicy romantic comedy series. Could it possibly get any worse than having absolutely no magical ability when you're a member of the most powerful family of witches ever? It used to be that I'd say no, but then I keep getting set up on dates with Gil uh, Connell, whose hotness is only matched by his ego. Seriously, I can't stand him. Even if I also can't stop thinking about him, specifically kissing him, but we're going to pretend I never told you that part. Oh, so yeah, my life isn't the greatest right now, but then it goes straight to the absolute worst hell when I accidentally make my sister spell glitch and curse my whole family. And the only person who can help non-magical me break the spell, you guessed it, Gil, the super hot jerk. Now we have to work together to save my family and outmanoeuvre some evil-minded forces bent on world domination. Oh yeah, and we have to do that all while fighting against the attraction building between us. Because I may not be magical, but what is happening between Gil and I sure feels like it. This um, look and like format kind of reminds me of Go Hex Yourself, um, but I've heard this is funny. I hope it is. Um, I'm excited. I know I have so many witchy books. Can you tell I have like a a thing for witchy books? Who knew why? I don't know why at all. But yes. Have you read this? I seen like okay, so I saw someone on Instagram Dan effort, and I kind of hope that I don't Dan effort. I kind of hope that I absolutely love it. Because sometimes it takes me a little bit to get into books. But once I'm in them, I am obsessed and have to read them all really quickly. So the font's pretty reasonable. And I hope it is good. I really do. Okay. Next is also from Booktopia. I've only got this one and one more box left. So not too bad. What are you... This is the Millie Bobby Brown book. So 19 steps. Love blooms in the darkest days. And it should be signed because I paid. Yep. It is signed by Millie Bobby Brown. So I special ordered this. 
so that I would have her signature because I think she's amazing. So London, 1942. Despite the raging war, spirited 19-year-old Nellie Morris lives a quiet life in the tight-knit East End community of Bethnal Green. I can't say that right, sorry. Her family and friends all tease that she'll marry air raid warden Billy, the boy next door, who's always been sweet on her. The arrival of Ray, a handsome American airman stationed nearby, causes Nellie to question everything she thought, thought she knew about her future. Nellie's newfound happiness is short-lived when a tragic accident occurs during an air raid. Even the closest family can't escape the devastation of war, and as the secrets and truths about the faithful night become clear, they threaten to tear Nellie and those dearest to her apart. Inspired by the true events of her family history, Billy Bobby Brown's dazzling debut novel is a moving tale of longing, loss and secrets, and the lengths of which will go to fight for love. Honestly, I just want to read it and see what it is like. It is gigantic text. So that is nice. It's not going to take me long at all to read. I'm going to be honest with you. I haven't read a book that is set in the 1942. That is set in 1942. And it is a historical novel. I know. Um, It's not normally my genre. Because I am a magical girly obviously, and a fantasy girly and a romanticy girly. Um, so I'm kind of hoping that, considering this has like a romantical edge, that it is good, but we're going to find out. We're going to find out if historical books are for me. Okay, we are on to the last beauty. And the last beauty is a book, big one, and it is the reason why this has taken so long. Um, because I was waiting for this beauty to come out and then be delivered to me. I saw some of my friends on Instagram went and picked up theirs from Big W and I could not wait any longer. You ready? Can you guess? It's, it's pretty obvious. I'm going to take the wrapping off, but I have been waiting for this book to come out in this format for so long because I want to do a reread and I absolutely am excited. Look at it! Oh, I'm so excited! <sighs> so, it is Harry Potter and the Prison of Azkaban. This is the illustrated edi edition by um, Min and Lima. Um, so they're a dual team that design and illustrate. But look how thick this bitch is! Like... Oh, it's so pretty! Look at it. It is just gorgeous. And then the back. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I am going to spend... Oh my god. It's so exciting. <gasps> so, if you didn't know, Harry Potter and the Prism has... Harry Potter and the Prison of Azkaban is my all-time favorite Harry Potter book. Um, it is my all-time favorite movie as well. It's where the magic, the darkness starts to come in and the real threat to Harry's life starts to come through. We have the found family aspect. We have that mysterious aspect that comes with the Prisoner of Azkaban. And it's not so much sorting out a murder mystery, even though it kind of is. It's more of like a detective mystery version. And the magic and the Marauder's Map and everything. Oh, it's so good. Uh, I can't wait to start reading this. Um, I am by far so excited for this. I kind of just want to pick it up right now and just look through all the pages because there is so much. Oh my God, the time turner. I have to show you. I'm sorry, I have to show you. But look at this. Look at this time turner. And it's all movable. Oh, more stuff fell out. But, like, you can move it. Like, I don't know if you're going to be able to see, but you can move the time turner. I am loving this. Okay. So. Whoo. So, these are all the books. I have unboxed all of them now. I'm going on a buying ban till next year. Um, Pre-orders are not included in that um, because girl math, they're apparently just free. So, yes. 
Anyway, bookish peeps, I hope you have enjoyed today's video. I love saving books up and then unboxing them all. It's like Christmas and it gives me so much serotonin. Um, but yes, please remember to like and subscribe and let me know in the comments down below if you have read any of these books or if you have ordered any of these books or if you send me any of these books because I have a few that I don't know where they came from. If you got this far in the video, please leave me a pumpkin emoji for my awkwardly to drink out of cup. And I'll see you next time you visit my library. Thanks for coming. Bye. So, let's get into this. Um, I don't know why I keep doing the wiggly hands. Like, seriously, you're not meant to drink out of these cups. Let me have a look. When are you coming in? Doesn't say. So many books. I gotta get this done because my groceries are coming. Hot. Ow! <sighs> Owie. Okay. Who's ah? Okay. Okay. Calm down, Kate. <sighs> and my battery is overheating. What a surprise. <sighs> it's a Mickey Mouse drinking break. Take my glasses off to have a drink. Blah, 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 Okay. Seriously. Hardest thing to drink out of. Okay. Where am I going to put all these? 